All right, we'll give it a couple minutes. I'm going to be the facilitator today. Uh, it's funny you put that in there, Dan. I was actually thinking about Sarah. I was like wondering where, what's going on with Sarah? By the way, Dan, you sound like you're underwater. Yeah, your oh. your voice is really low. Got it. <laughs> Ran out of battery on one and then we put in the other. Yeah, I sometimes get the, the year part is kind of like it disconnects in one, and then, like, if you take it out and put it in, it detects like you, it kind of resets. Yeah. All right. I think uh, we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to be the facilitator today. Let's make sure everybody puts their name in the attendance on the, in the meeting notes in the Google Doc. If you don't have the link, it's in the chat. Um, just going to go down the agenda. Um, I guess Brandon is going to be the scribe today. Um, let's see. Anything specifically that anybody wanted to talk about? It look, looks like Dan, you've got an update on Sarah. We can go ahead and start with that. Yeah. I can stand up. You sound a little bit like you're still underwater, maybe a little bit, but I can I can make out what you're saying. <laughs> uh, disconnected, uh, disconnect, disconnected, reconnected. Uh, sounds like it didn't do much to improve the situation. <laughs> Um, I'll, I'll keep it brief. Um, so, uh, had the opportunity to chat with Sarah this week. Uh, she is still, uh, you know, pretty much in sort of breast mode, uh, you know, any sort of, uh, heavy mental lifting and, you know, she's a programmer for programmers. So that, you know, uh, core work. Um, is, you know, largely out of the question and she's been kind of readapting her, uh, day to day to focus on more physical activity, um, and sort of managing general health, uh, through that and, um, you know, getting in. Now she's still in Boston, uh, still working through it, but, uh, you know, overall good spirits and, uh, um, doing okay. Well, good, good. Well, I'm rooting for her. that's that's hard to go through. A lot of change. Good. Thanks for the update on that. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Um, looks like everybody's getting their attendance in there. Looks like there's I'm not seeing any other updates. So I have a quick update actually. Um, Ahead, just a small one. So we've been chatting with Amy and getting um, transcriptions of the meetings. So I think this will, uh, the idea is Zoom has this really nice transcript, which tells you um, per user transcription. So it has the name as long as, uh, as well as what people are saying. 
Um, so it's likely that we'll try and figure out a way that we can add this to the repo. Uh, and then basically the, the job of the, the scribe is gonna become more of like a action items uh, note taker and just like, um, you know, uh, big agenda items. So I think the scribe role is gonna be simplified a lot more in the future. And also I think um, eating also created the PR to add the scribe role into as one of the roles. And then she's done a good job in describing what it will be. Okay, so yeah, thanks for that update, Brandon. Um, no other updates from anybody else. Um, I did want to see if there was any other updates on any issues or PRs that uh, anybody wants to discuss. Um, kind of the ongoing one that we've been discussing the past few weeks has been around the, uh, the DevSecOps, the DOD stuff. Um, any updates there that, that want to be, anybody want to share? I think there was uh, um, something on the uh, hands-on security testing for security assessments. I think um, Matt put in something there. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure whether he's on the call. Maybe we can talk a bit of that. Yeah, I'm I'm here, but I don't know if there's anything to to discuss. There was one person um, who commented on the ticket that they were able to um, participate in that group, and I think we're still waiting for one more person to make that three. I know of one person who I can drag into it if we if nobody else um, signs up, so to to get us to three. But God, I don't want to rope people in if I don't have to. If we can get one more person. Sorry, I missed the thread. What do you need, Matt? Um, there, there's a, a GitHub ticket um, in SIG Security to find people to volunteer um, during SIG Security reviews to perform hands-on light penetration testing of applications. Oh, yeah. And so we're looking for people to um, volunteer for that group to, again, it's going to be basically this, no, no more additional time or anything than um, the regular SIG security reviews, but this is just volunteering for the, the hands-on part of it. And we need three people in that in that group to start that. We have yeah, two. Yeah, you know, I'd be interested, but I hate to be somebody who doesn't show up because of a scheduled meeting in the day job. And then, you know, it's one short. So I think I'm a bad choice. We don't get it. If we don't get anyone soon, then I'll, I'll, I'll rope, rope some people in. Okay. Yeah. Likewise, ping me if you have trouble and maybe I can get somebody else in my organization who's not overcommitted to do it. Okay. A great, a great experience for a junior person. Yep. Yeah, no, that's, that is awesome. Um, yeah, if you have the time and you've got the talent to be able to contribute there, that's awesome. I'm just going through the issues list right now. Um, doesn't look like that there have been any recent updates to any of those. Okay. Um, did we have any, uh, let's see, what's on our presentation list for uh, upcoming presentations? I 
can see from seven days ago, there was this uh, checkoff. Yeah, we have checkoff currently planned for um, next week. Oh, that's next week. Okay. Yep. Oh yeah, July, July eighth. Got it. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Work to that. Uh, this is Vinay here. Um, if we have a presentation next week, is that going to uh, take the whole time? Uh, there was something that I've been working on in terms of a reference architecture for DevSecOps and CICD that I've been wanting to uh, bring. Uh, ho hopefully, it's close to where I wanted that it captures the entire ecosystem, et cetera, that I'd like to present. Uh, is that a possibility, or I can always wait for uh, two weeks out? Uh, I think it would be better if we do it two weeks out, and then at least we have we have time for questions and comments for for both the presentations. Sounds good. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Um, any other issues that we might want to talk about um, today? Or any new ones that you might want to bring up? Uh, so I think, I don't know if we've reached this part of the schedule yet, um, but I, I added an item there to talk briefly about Sandbox Project Security Assessment. And um, the basic thing I, I wanted to discuss with this is um, one thing that occurred fairly recently is we had uh, when the sandbox process changed, it's now a very lightweight process where a bunch of projects basically just get tossed into the sandbox um, by the TOC. Um, and what it used to be is it used to be a slower process where we would actually weigh in before a project made it into the sandbox, and that's now changed. But what's happened is, is that we had a bunch of projects that were looking for security assessments, and now all of those projects um, that were trying to, like at the process of entering into the sandbox, and looking for a security assessment effectively had their assessment closed. And um, first of all, I, I want to um, say like my, my personal opinion and then we as a group should maybe discuss and decide if, if we want something different. But in my view, um, we absolutely should be promoting that projects that are in Sandbox receive a security assessment. Um, my, my view is, is that projects that are going up for incubation or going up for graduation are probably more important to review and so would have higher priority, but we're not at a state now where we're so overwhelmed that we can't do more assessments. And certainly any project that goes up for incubation should have already had a security assessment from our group. So um, I think that, that we should make sure that the message that we're giving is clear that we do want projects when they enter in in sandbox to be you know to be ready or be prepared or be thinking about starting that process really as soon as they can it's not something that they need to wait until they read uh, incubation review or graduation review to do um, so i made that statement as a statement of fact but i i just want to say that's my opinion and i'm curious if any others agree or disagree no absolutely i think that um just because projects are not, I mean, that because there's no necessary sort of dealings before Sandbox, I think is, but I think it's very important that at Sandbox um, projects do present to SIG Security and do introduce themselves when they've joined, um, if they haven't before, and and the the assess and the assessment is valuable for them, and it, joining Sandbox is a good point to start you know, thinking about these things if they haven't thought about them before or have ex get extra help now they've joined the community. And I think it's a, um, it would be really good to um, engage with all, especially the security projects, but also other projects that uh, at this point when they've, now they've joined. Um, uh, Justin, uh, uh, what what do you what do you think about uh, having it not be a gate but an invitation? 
does that change in your mind? Uh, so once once a group was in the, the sandbox, they could get accepted into the sandbox. You know, rather than you know in incubation and graduation, uh, you know we're we're proposing more of a, a gate to acceptance. But in sandbox, uh, you know what we we could consider doing is is uh, not saying you in order to uh, you know, join you have to you know do this thing, but like as you're joining. You know, come. Uh, you know, start your journey. Is that? Yeah, I, I think. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's effectively what we have now because we're not a gating function to entrance into sandbox uh, anymore, and we weren't really a gating function before this in practice. So, um, you know, effectively, the reality is is that the er the the earliest we can do something is encourage projects that are in sandbox to come to us ahead of time rather than waiting until incubation, which is what I'm, I'm proposing. Got it. So, so we're aligned. Um, great. Who's, who's making those invitation invitations to whoever's in sandbox. There hasn't been a formal process for this yet because it's just sort of happened. Um, the, the changes happened recently. The thing that has happened also recently that I wanted to um, be sure we're not doing, which is I think some projects were getting the message that um, they, they didn't need to worry about an assessment because they'd made it into Sandbox. And, uh, and that I think happened in part because some tickets were being closed for projects that had made it in because originally the ticket was opened as in order to get into sandbox, do this, like you need to do this assessment. But it shouldn't be a, even though that's no longer a gating mechanism, closing that ticket is I think the wrong way to say it. It's, it's the way to say, hey, you should now start doing this because you're in sandbox. Okay. Yeah, I agree with that. I think also like um, it seems like the at least the document that talks about the new sandbox process seems to indicate that uh, really what it is is uh, incub is an incubation incubator. <laughs> so it's getting projects ready to to hit the incubation. Mm -hmm. um, while we're on that, actually, so I I had a chat with. Um, uh, the check of um, speaker and he mentioned that they are also actually trying to move to incubation. So I'll, I'll drop him a message to open a security assessment. I think that should, uh, I'm not sure where they are on the timeline, but I think they'll talk about that next week a little bit. There's a comment in the chat about Cloud Custodian wanting to move forward with the assessment as well. Yes, so we like should reopen the issue there. Ab absolutely, um, very strongly supportive of that. And uh, you know, we have the capacity now to be doing more than we are, um, and we'd like to. Um, and, and actually, as we do more of these, we end up getting more capacity usually because new reviewers become experienced and are ready to go. So. Um, we could easily be doing more than just the one assessment we have in in, uh, in the process now. At least for custodian, I think that there was a bandwidth issue on the project side, um, but that has been resolved. So we have capacity now and we're actively working on it. Awesome. Any more to discuss on the security assessments? Okay. Um, Vinay, you wanted to talk about uh, the DevSecOps reference, presenting that on July 15th. Yeah, I can wait uh, for two weeks out, Cameron. I, I, or I'd rather prefer to 
uh, it's not entirely complete. It's not hundred percent as yet. Just a few more things I'd like to add before I present it. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Makes sense. Okay. Um, there's a question from um, Mark Underwood about uh, if there's anybody that's working with the Open Telemetry Group. I am certainly not. Well, I may uh, dip my toes in there. Uh, here's why it's of interest to me. The mapping of the semantics that that protocol air quotes protocol is using don't map very cleanly to the security world then uh, it has things like buckets and triggers and you know that sort of thing from the IT world more abstractly so you know I, I'm trying to figure out a way that we can do this as we you know consider what we would like to see for telemetry coming from open source projects That's it. Okay. Is that something that you want to explore yourself, Mark? With that team? Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I can't really commit anyone else here to it. I. It seems like a natural, uh, you know, connection. But maybe the more sensible thing is to. You know, let the people that have more bandwidth to pursue this, to, you know, get in the weeds with the Prometheus people and, you know, see where that fits into the projects that come through here. But, you know, those of us, those of you that are doing the reviews, are you, you know, poking around to see what kind of telemetry is coming out of the projects that come to you? Obviously, you must, right? So authentication fails and things like that. Maybe I'm wording the question poorly. <laughs> do, do you know anyone that's um, part of the open telemetry group? That you yes. think would, do you think yes. that it'll be interesting to maybe see whether we can do a, um, whether they can come here and present a bit of what they have? I could ask him, sure. That'd be a really good start actually. Okay. They might need us more than the other way around, I think. <laughs> That's the start somewhere, I guess. Yeah. Okay, we'll do. I'll put that in the notes. All right, thanks, Ma. Is there any current assessments going on now that uh, that we need some some help with currently? So we've got key cloak, we've got Quay, we've got cloud native build packs. Um, has have some of these already begun or what's the status with some of those? Do we need more help on any of those? From the assessment process? Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, uh, I, what we're waiting on is we're always, as far as I'm aware, always blocked on projects. I don't think there's a, an assessment that's going on now where we just haven't been able to get the team together. But that being said, if anybody on this call thinks I'm wrong or thinks, well, that's sort of true, but the team wasn't really together and so we didn't get things together from our side, um, then please let me know and I will push and put that together. But um, I... We, I, I think we've been fortunate that we have a pretty good group of people that all are excited to do these things now. So um, I don't, as far as I'm aware, there isn't a hold up on our end. All three of those are applying for incubation. Um, okay. So um, it's probably worth um, at least asking them again at this point if they're registered bef before incubation. Yeah, definitely a good point there. Uh, 
Um, maybe we can reach out to each one of those projects and kind of see where things are, are sitting. Um, so we can re-engage and, and get those finished up. Is the goal that we finish those before they meet incubation? <laughs> I think um, at least from our perspective in the community, what we've been talking about here is we, we believe that, um, you know, like we're advising the TOC. So it's not our place to say to the TOC, like you shouldn't put a project in this place because we haven't done our role. But um, the process is supposed to be that every project that goes through our process that, that needs to be as deemed by the TOC. So the TOC gets com more complete information about um, what they what they need to do, like so they can make the most informed decision effectively. Right. Yeah, in my mind, I yeah, making sure that those are done before incubation is achieved is that be a, you know an important milestone, especially for giving that information back to the TOC. Okay. Um, any other issues that need to be discussed? Not seeing anything else in the agenda. And nothing else from the attendance list. Anything else that anybody wanted to discuss? Otherwise, I think we're done. Here we can call it. I think we can call it. All right. Uh, I will be sending out a, anyone who's interested in Cloud Custodian participating in that assessment, please uh, mention it. Uh, there are people who signed up, but this was a long time ago. And a lot of those people, like for instance, Sarah Allen, um, have had things happen and their ability to participate has perhaps changed. So treat it almost like it's a fresh assessment we're being asked to do. And please comment uh, on there. Okay. Uh, yes, and we have already created things like the cloud uh, custodian Slack assessment room and other things like that, but we'll also have to shift that around and invite all the right people and um, things like that. So uh, please do comment on the issue which was posted, I think, in the, in the channel here or will be in the notes. Awesome. Cool. Well, everybody have a great 4th of July weekend, and uh, we'll see you back here next week. Thanks, you as well. Thanks, everyone. Yep. Thanks, Cameron. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Cameron. Thanks, Cameron. Thanks, Cameron.